Rioli is an old 18th century farmhouse of about 1,000 square meters, with the adjoining part reaching 17,000 square meters. The name comes from the former owner Giovanni Inzoli. In 2011, the municipality of Tradate decided to buy the property to make it accessible to everyone. Inside the park, you can find two centuries-old sequoias, one of which reaches a height of 35 meters, like a 10-story building. Villa Centenari was built in the 19th century for the Centenari family, who were a wealthy family from Milan. They built the villa to spend their summer vacation there. The villa is located in one of the highest places in the, the city of Tradate. Offers a beautiful view, they are surrounded by nature and green woods. At the end of the 70s, the villa was sold to the municipality of Tradate to become a natural park. Over the years, the vegetation that surrounded the villa was lost, but in 2010, it underwent important works of requalification and three-lined the avenue, a field to the villa was rebuilt. The Astronomical Observatory, located in the municipality of Tradate, was inaugurated in 2007. The foundation of this institution is the result of the collaboration of three separate entities. The Pineta Park of Appiano Gentile and Tradate, which provides uh, the infrastructure, the municipality of Tradate and the Tradatese Astronomical Group. The foundation deals with scientific activities and manages the Astronomical Observatory, which houses a Newton telescope with a diameter of 65 centimeters. Among the public buildings of Varese is Palazzo Estense, the former summer residence of Francesco de Tordeste, Duke of Modena. Standing at a short distance from the city centre, Palazzo Estense, the masterpiece of architect Giuseppe Bianchi, who was nicknamed by Stendhal the Versailles of Milan. The palazzo was built between 1766 and 1771 at the behest of the Duke of Modena, Francesco de Tordeste, who, after obtaining the Signoria of Varese from Maria Teresa of Austria, wanted to establish his court there. The palazzo currently houses the city hall and the civic library. The Salon Estense, also known as the Hall of Honor, on the ground floor is remarkable with its illusionistic architecture. On entering, the eye is caught by the large polished room marble fireplace and the elegant crystal chandeliers. The room often hosts conferences, concerts and other public events. Villa Andrea was built in 1858. The villa is elegant and airy, decorated with obelisks and columns. The rooms are vast, bright and beautifully decorated with the most modern technologies. The large windows allow a wonderful view of the park and the city of Varese. Villa Napoleonica. The villa is an architectural building dating back to the 17th century. Major redevelopment works aimed at modernizing its rooms and improving their functionality have made it reputed in an elegant 400-seat auditorium, complete with all conference facilities, on their upper floors, a large modular open space and six differently equipped meeting rooms complete the building's facilities and make it well suited to host events of different naturalists and sizes. These two villas are two splendid jewels of art and culture, each one an expression of a different architectural style. The surrounding park, laid out in the English style, covers 56,000 square meters and together with its two kilometer long avenue offers a wonderful recreational facility. Corporate events, special events, weddings and ceremonies can be held in these villas. Lake Varese is situated at the foot of the Varese Prealps and is the 10th largest lake in Italy. It is thought that the lake was created 15,000 years ago when the melting of Verbano Glacier created the large basin in which the city and its lake are located today. Together with the lakes Maggiore, Comabio, Lugano, Ghirla, Ganna and Monate, Lake Varese is part of the so-called Seven Lakes of Varese province. There is a 28 km long sighting and walking path around the lake, which is especially 
special e popular near Gavirate, Biandronno, Varese and Bardello. The lake is also very famous for rowing competition. There are rowing centers at Varese and Gavirate, which have organized national and international competition since 1960. Work is ongoing to improve the lake's water quality and it is hoped that uh, for by 2023 it will be again be open for swimming. The Sacro Monte of Varese consists of 14 chapels leading to the Sanctuary of Santa Maria del Monte, a place of pilgrimage since the Middle Ages, which serves as the 15th chapel. It fully reflects the idea that a Sacro Monte should be located in a natural environment of great scenic interest. On high ground where there is a centuries-old tradition of pilgrimages and testimonies of faith. Work began in 16th for along 2 kilometers of a wide cobbled path. Thanks to a generous donation, construction was much faster than on other sacred mountains and 13 chapels were completed by 1623. The statues and frescoes that adorn them are an outstanding example of 17th century sacred art in the Milanese area. It belongs to the group of nine sacred mounts of Piedmont and Lombardy included the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2003.